Welcome to Student Spotlights, a presentation of College Success Arizona. This program features the hardworking college students who have earned scholarships from College Success Arizona and are pursuing their educational goals and career passions. Today on Student Spotlight, we interview Stephanie Garcia Ramirez. I was born in Phoenix, Arizona, and I was also raised here, so I really like the hot weather. <laughs> There's plenty of that here, isn't there? Yes, sir. And where did you graduate from high school? I graduated from Maryville High School last year in 2017. Maryvale High School, excellent. And how old are you now? I am 19. I just turned 19 last month. And you're doing what so far as your college education? I am currently attending Arizona State University with an intended major in registered nursing. You want to be a registered nurse? Yes, sir. Is that something that has been a long-held goal? Have you wanted to be a nurse since you know, maybe you were a little girl? Yes, I've always wanted to be a nurse because when I was younger, I always walked into their offices um, feeling some type of hurt in me. But when I left, even if I was still sick, just the way they treated you, their care, their patience, I already felt like a hundred times better. And I decided that I wanted to provide the same feeling to others. There's a lot you can do in the field of nursing. You can be an ER nurse, a pediatric nurse, a hospice nurse. Do you have some idea where you may want to work? An ER nurse. Why ER? Simply because in my family there was a very terrible accident. And they were the ones that were rushing to save their lives. And to me, that was my first definition of a hero. And it, I just carry a lot of sentiment with the dedication that they have for their job and the importance of their job. So it was a real life experience in your background that is really compelling this this educational path to become a nurse. Yes, it's very rooted in me. And it's just a part of me that that I've known always, that I've always wanted to help others around me and just Kind of like, even if it's just putting on a Band-Aid or, or providing the Band-Aid, I already feel like I'm accomplishing something of great magnitude in that day. I've done quite a few of these interviews and spoken with a, a pretty good number of nursing students. And what I hear is that uh, the nursing program at ASU is very, it can be very difficult and very competitive. Yes, it's very, very competitive. It requires a lot of self um, how can I say it, um, discipline, you really have to sit down and motivate yourself that it's hard, but you can do it. You just have to put in the work and you just kind of have to find that, that inner, inner little, keep going, keep going. You can do this because it is hard and it's, it is competitive, but I see that it has to be like, like that because we're doing such a serious job it's not we're not dealing with like pillows or something we're dealing with people's lives so i welcome the challenge because i know it you it's necessary and you're one of the students one of the scholars who have earned a scholarship from college success arizona which provides up to six thousand dollars per year for educational expenses can you talk about how that money has helped pay for your college and maybe made your life a, a little bit easier for sure um, College Access Arizona is amazing. They help pay my tuition, and that definitely just helped clear way of of additional stress of school. It's it's been wonderful on my family and I because now I don't have to split myself into I have to worry about school and I have to worry about uh, um, paying for school. It's just been truly a blessing, like. I can't really describe how much this helps, just in the sense that I, I see other people um, having to work double time to be able to manage the stress of upcoming exams and maybe a financial deadline. It's, it's helped me just with tuition, and it's just been great. The scholarship also provides mentoring from what we call a success advisor, basically someone who helps mentor you throughout the college process in your college years. In your case, your advisor is Matt Sotelo. Can you describe the role that Matt plays in your life? Matt plays the role of a friendly guy, guide, guide, I don't want to say guide, I don't think that's the right word, a friendly and guiding person. 
Um, he's really experienced, so he's always shedding mm-hmm. like new light on any perspective of with anything about school. Recently, he got us, me and another, another student in touch with a registered nurse. That was amazing. I um, was able to ask questions that I had never been able to ask, no matter how embarrassing or simple or complicated they were. I, I asked them, and I felt great afterwards because I walked away knowing that, well, this is really what I want to do. And in addition, he just um, gives me small goals to accomplish, and it's been really worthwhile because had he not challenged me to pursue those goals, I wouldn't be able to say I did this and this is what I want to do now or have like a a clear set path of what I want to do. And you mentioned your family. Can you talk about the role that your family has uh, played in possibly encouraging your college education? Yes. My mom and dad have been super supportive. They said, if you're up up to the challenge, so are we. And they've just kind of imprinted this idea that education is is important. And neither of them were able to accomplish, even a high school diploma, they stress it very much. And they say that as a first generation, it's my job to break the chain of lack of education. So they motivate me in every way that they can. They try to tell me that it's stressful right now, but I can do it. Just I have to put my mind to it. So they're, they're the motors of my motivation, basically. <laughs> And for middle and high school students at Maryvale, maybe other schools listening to this who are considering their own college options and opportunities, can you offer some advice? Yes. Limited means do not equal limited dreams. It doesn't matter if you come from a public school like I did, if you put in the hard work and you put in the education and you have a sort of sense of where you want to be, go for it. Um, The only person that tells you you can't is yourself, and that's really the only thing that's stopping you. Others may say it, but you have the choice to turn that negativity into positivity and more so motivation. So limited means do not equal limited dreams. And transitioning from Maryville uh, Maryville High School, which is maybe, I don't know, a couple thousand students, I don't know how big it is, to ASU, which is upwards of like 100,000 students or something, uh, that's a huge, hugely different culture and a lot more freedom for you. Talk about that transition. That transition is definitely very marked. In my case, I went to a school that was over 90% Hispanics. So to all my fellow Hispanics, just be aware of the cultural shock. It's not a bad thing. It's just a reality, and we have to learn how to embrace that fully and not shy because we're at university for some reason. And, yes, the school is larger, but that's only a ben- a, something beneficial because you have different ethnicities you can become friends with and learn and just, Maybe you weren't expecting your friends to be totally different from you, and it turns out to be a really wonderful thing. And you just, the more people you hang around, the more you know, the more different they are, the more you grow. So just embrace the differences, because it's really, really memorable. And what has been the, let's call it the best part of college for you so far? The best part of college is, it has been just finding that little time where you sit down in your chair after completing a big old assignment and you're like, I did it, I could do this, I'm, I'm motivated, I got this, I'm, it's real, I'm doing this. It's, it's just that moment where college finally hits you where it's like, oh, I'm doing this and I can do it and it's not that just the initial shock of, oh my God, what, am I have to, what do I have to do? Essentially that, that feeling of knowing that you know what's, happening around you. That's the best part of college. And beyond the books, do you have any hobbies, sports, interests, pastimes that you uh, maybe use to de-stress and relax? Yes. um, I have the hobby of just walking around campus and trying to find the next Stephanie big um, place to study because there's a lot of places at universities that are really great to study and you think that they're exclusive to a certain major or a certain um, career, no, you can walk around and meet new people and and find a spot that really, really encourage you to study or get that assignment done that you really perhaps don't want to start. So that's my free time, just finding good places to study on campus. Thank you so much for the interview, Stephanie. And by the way, since 2005, 
College Success Arizona has worked with nearly 1,300 students just like Stephanie and provided more than $16 million in scholarships and success services to help increase the college attainment rates in our state. If you would like to be part of the mission of providing educational opportunity to high potential students from low-income circumstances, your tax-deductible contribution can be made through the Donate button located on the College Success Arizona website at collegesuccessarizona.org.